the way Verdi writes this, writes the music and, and sets up the whole drama, is that the first thing you see, he comes in and he declares the, the war has been won by him, and it's an incredible thing, and the chorus sings, e viva Otello, what a great warrior, and he goes off, and they, he goes to be with Desdemona. <clears throat> and the end of the first act, after all of this rigmarole, and you see Iago, he says, I hate this guy, I just I can't stand him, and I, I just wish I could take revenge on him, and he does. But the last part of act one is you see Desdemona and Otello together, and it's the most beautiful love duet you can imagine. And you can see the tenderness that the two of them have together that he doesn't have or has never had with anyone, only with her. He can tell her anything, and he really it's, it's like a therapy for him to be with her, to be, be able to tell her all of the stories of war and all of the things that he's, went, he's gone through. He's like, like his therapist, you know, <laughs> but of course his wife also. So to see that incredible relationship that they have be totally split apart by one suggestion, and then it's just, you know, the domino effect and the snowball effect, it just, it, it's so sad. And you know, as an audience member, <laughs> people have told me, they keep thinking, it's not true, <laughs> don't believe him, you know, but it, it, it's just, he just can't help himself. He can't get over it. 